the relationship between Natasha and Chef Dave started out fun and flirty, but quickly became even shakier than the yacht without its stabilizers. Natasha, I have questions for you. Dave said your plan was to start revealing your relationship after being on the boat for a week. Is that true? And if so, were you just telling him that to buy yourself time? Dave and I were never in a relationship. We only knew each other a month before joining Marty at home and we hooked up a few times. It was a very messy situation. Why did you want to keep it a secret? I wanted to keep it a secret because it was such a mess and it was wrong and I admit that it was wrong, but everyone makes mistakes. When you hooked up, did you know you were both going to be going on below deck? I am, no, not at the time. You didn't. No. That's wild. How small is this world? Yachting is very small. What was your reaction to seeing Dave's breakdown in tonight's episode? Of course it hurt me. Like, I care a lot for Dave and it, that wasn't shown my supportive side, but I mean, it yeah, it hurt a lot. Jason, why are you laughing? I just thought it was, you know, it's just funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, was there a part of you that wanted a real relationship to blossom between you and Dave while working together on home? Never ever. Like I saw that his true colors and who would want to be in that toxic relationship. When you and Dave went into your ca cabin bathroom together for over 20 minutes, did the two of you <laughs> hook up? No, that was our only time that we could ever speak without cameras on us. And if I wanted to hook up with someone like Kyle, my husband, he was right there for me. Is there any part of you that feels like you led Dave on? Um, no, people think I ignored Dave, but that was the reason I didn't want to feel like I was leading him on. So if it ever looked like I was, it was because I was treading on eggshells and I didn't know what else to do. Where do the two of you stand today? Dave and I are now speaking. Um, like, you should never hold a grudge, like I said. So, like, we've got over it. We've both moved on. I'm in the most amazing relationship now. Oh, good. So Why did you want to bunk with him, by the way? Um, there was no other choice. Like, nobody else wanted to share a cabin. And Dave and I spoke before coming on Motor Yacht Home, and we were like, that's over now. It's in the past. We can move on. We can be professional. Do you think that led him on? It seems like it might have. I don't know, God knows, but I was, my intentions were never to lead him on. I just wanted it to be over. It was a mess. And people have seen now it got messier. Right, right. You also said you might want to screw, which. <laughs> that was actually, I never said that. I was like, what a good crew. And then I was like, how has this been shown that I want to screw? I could not believe it, but anyways. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.